Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon, giving you another comic book mini review for my 308, uh, sorry, 398th video. So here we go. Hit it! Well, for my video, you guys are looking at it. I got two infinite, sorry, two Crisis on Infinite Earths tie-ins. And might I say, I fucking love these comic books. I really do. I'm not ashamed of it. It's re Oh my god, seriously, I freaking love them! <laughs> Oh, and in the Green Lantern comic book, it was way before, way, way before Hal Jordan went crazy and went nutso in the universe. This is way before that, like 10, 8 years before that, like somewhere between 10 or 8 years. Uh, anyways, yeah, this is a good comic book and I freaking love it. It starts off with uh, Hal Jordan being beamed up with Guy Gardner and one of the Guardians of the Universe. And it ends with Guy Gardner getting a Green Lantern ring. <laughs> and I loved everything that was in it. I loved the story. The story was awesome. And... I really loved it. I really loved how Hal Jordan got mysteriously kicked out from the Guardian's beams. You know, traction beams. And I loved how he had to find his own way back to Oa. And it was a really good comic book. The art was fantastic. The story was even more fantastic. And I just loved it. 10 out of 10 for this one. Oh, and I got these two at a um at a comic book shop near the University Mall where I live in South Burlington, no sorry, in Burlington, Vermont. Um But yeah, that's where I got those two. I I I wanted to see if there was any more of them, you know, Infinite, or sorry, Crisis on Infinite Earths tie-ins. Because I do have some, I just don't have all, and I really wanted to get some more, so I'm pretty happy about them. So, yeah. And I also got the new Teen Titans issue number 14. Written by uh, Marv Wolfman and Eduardo Par uh, Barreto and Romeo Tanghal. And I really loved it. The art was explosive as all hell. Uh, like, like, I couldn't even... Uh, what was it? I couldn't even... I couldn't even think if it was going to be really good or really boring. But after reading this, the art was explosive as all all hell. I mean, my God, seriously! Like the art, is, the art that's in here in this comic book is not comparable to today's comic books. And I love it for that reason, because all today's comic books have is the digital crap. Which tends to make stuff even lighter than they were in the original comic book. If they're doing a, you know, one of those dollar store comic books. And they have to touch up on certain stuff or redo certain stuff. 
That's what I don't like about today's comic books. And for this reason, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. So, yeah, that's the comic books that I got last week. I wanted to do it in the part two video, but I forgot that they were there. And I figured, you know, might as well do it for the 398th video. So, yeah, just, you know, like and subscribe. Comment on the comment section, ring the notification bell on the YouTube channel so that you guys can get awesome videos from my channel. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.